Disclaimer. We Level Up is not promoting the use of whippets. This video explores dangers and consequences, not endorsement. Learn, don't use. Comment below, stay safe. Welcome to the We Level Up Treatment Center video series. In today's video we will discuss, what are whippets? What are whippets is hype about? The whippets drug is often derived from the whipped cream cans nitrous oxide that users breathe in to get high. Whippets, also called whippets or whippet drug abuse, is the inhalation of nitrous oxide found in cans to get high. Nitrous oxide is misused as a recreational drug, usually by young people, due to its euphoric, calming, and delirious effects. Inhaler abuse often has damaging and risky health effects. Have you ever come across whippets? Perhaps you've come across videos or heard tales of people using them. But have you truly comprehended what they are and why they are a severe threat? Whippets are small cartridges teeming with nitrous oxide gas, a popular inhalant drug utilized for leisure purposes. They provide a fleeting euphoric high that can be experienced repeatedly for quite some time. However, don't be fooled by their seemingly harmless nature. Whippets can be incredibly perilous, leading to respiratory depression, hypoxia, and even physical damage like neurological disorders or tissue loss. Our Whippets drug guide will shed light on the true nature of the risky inhalant. Uncover the inherent dangers, the reasons behind the appeal to young abusers, and how we can combat misuse, especially among the younger generation. What are Whippets drugs made of? Nitrous oxide, the dangerous ingredient in the Whippets drug. The calming and mood-elevating effects sought by inhaling nitrous oxide, the main ingredient in whippets, flee quickly. Popular among teens and young adults, the recreational drug may seem enticing, but it comes with serious risks. Inhaling the nitrous oxide out of whipped cream chargers is so dangerous it can cause irreversible brain damage and even death. The dangers of using whipped cream chargers as a source of nitrous oxide cannot be ignored. Let's dive into the dissociative experience it creates and its potentially fatal consequences. Be informed, and stay safe. Are inhalants addictive? Inhalant abuse can lead to addiction, where the user becomes physically and mentally dependent on the drug. Addiction can cause the user to engage in dangerous behaviors, leading to severe physical, social, and psychological consequences. If you are using whippets or believe your loved one might be, getting help as soon as possible is crucial. Continued use could lead to severe organ damage or even be fatal. Whippet Drug Nitrous Oxide Side Effects Inhaling Whippet Drug's nitrous oxide whipped cream cans causes long-term side effects, including damaging your liver, kidney, bone marrow, lung, hearing, vision. Moreover, nitrous oxide side effects also influence the brain, nerve, coordination, movement, pregnancy problems, and harm to an unborn baby. Medical Uses of Whippets Whippets, also known as nitrous oxide, serve a dual purpose. Firstly, they are utilized by doctors as a safe and effective anesthetic for pain relief in medical settings. You may have even heard it referred to as laughing gas during visits to the dentist. However, caution must be exercised when using nitrous oxide recreationally, as inhaling it can lead to harmful effects. Whippet Drug Overdose Risks what are whippet drugs overdose causes and treatments? A whippet drug overdose is possible. Take caution, as whippets drugs overdoses can be life-threatening. A whippet drug overdose can occur when inhaling the nitrous oxide used in whipped cream canisters. While whippet drug nitrous oxide may seem harmless compared to other drugs, it can be a severe danger, particularly for children. Whippet drug abuse can result in toxic results. As teen inhalant abuse rises, this serves as a warning call for all parents. During a whippet drug overdose, a person's heart becomes strained and stops beating. The person can experience seizures requiring quick medical intervention. First responders can treat the whippet's overdose by restarting the heart via defibrillator, chest compressions, and rescue breaths. How whippets are inhaled and abused. When a person inhales whippets drug from steel cans, the result is a lack of oxygen, producing lightheadedness. While this may differ from drugs that produce a strong euphoric rush, it still induces an anxiety-reducing sensation that some people enjoy. What happens when you use whippets? The effects of nitrous oxide on the body are known to 
Decrease the ability to sense pain, sound, or touch. Change emotional responses within the brain. Foster lightheadedness or hallucinations. Lead to delusions or false beliefs. Whippets can be abused, leaving lasting effects on the person using them. Depending on their frequency of use and abuse, whippets pose short-term and long-term health effects ranging from memory loss to death from whippets. Whippets are considered inhalants that can take more time to become addicted to when compared to other forms of inhalants. A significant factor in this is how someone who uses it gets high and how nitrous oxide affects the brain. Unfortunately, nitrous oxide can impact the brain's function, and the person inhales it goes without oxygen for brief moments. Whippets drug users can inhale nitrous oxide directly through the steel cans or use crackers. Devices are used to crack open the canisters and inhale the gas directly. Inhaling the whippet drug through balloons may be more convenient for some users because they can get more gas from them rather than using cans. The person would put the balloon in their mouth and inhale the gas for the same effects available. Reducing harm from whippets, safety tips you need to know. If you're a teenager, avoid inhaling whippets. If you suspect addiction, seek help from a trusted parent or adult. For adults who choose to use whippets, here are ways to minimize risks and stay safe. Inhale from a balloon, inhaling gas straight from the canister can lead to frostbite and lung damage. You can regulate temperature and pressure levels by transferring nitrous oxide into a balloon before inhaling. Beware of fire hazards. Keep whippet canisters away from flames, flammable substances, or cigarettes to prevent accidents. Say no to mixing. To ensure your safety, avoid combining whippets with alcohol or other drugs. Stay seated. Increase your chances of avoiding fainting or passing out by remaining seated while using a whippet. Be in good company. Never use harmful substances alone. Surround yourself with others in a safe environment when using whippets. Don't obstruct your breathing. Avoid covering your head with a bag or mask while inhaling a whippet. Consistently allow for an uninterrupted air supply. Following these guidelines can reduce harm and protect yourself during whippet use. Inhalant abuse symptoms. Inhalant abuse, or huffing, involves inhaling the fumes from household or industrial products to get high. The symptoms of inhalant abuse can vary depending on the product used, dose, and duration of exposure. Here are some common symptoms of inhalant abuse. Dizziness and lightheadedness. Inhaling chemicals can cause a rush of blood to the head, leading to dizziness and lightheadedness. Slurred speech. Inhalant abuse can cause difficulty in speaking, leading to slurred speech. Hallucinations. Some inhalants can cause hallucinations, leading to the perception of things that are not present. Loss of coordination. Inhaling chemicals can cause loss of coordination, leading to stumbling and falling. Nausea and vomiting. Inhalant abuse can cause nausea and vomiting, leading to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances. Headaches. Inhaling chemicals can cause headaches, which can range from mild to severe. Seizures. Prolonged or repeated inhalant abuse can increase the risk of seizures. Respiratory problems. Inhalant abuse can cause respiratory problems such as wheezing, shortness of breath, and coughing. Behavior change. Inhalant abuse can cause changes in personality and behavior, leading to mood swings, irritability, and aggression. The key to nitrous oxide addiction treatment is it should be individualized to fit the unique needs of each person in treatment. There is no one-size-fits-all approach that works for everyone in recovery. A high-quality program will understand this and tailor treatment programs accordingly. We Level Up NJ provides proper care with round-the-clock medical staff to assist your recovery from whippets, drug abuse and addiction through our medically-assisted detox program. So, reclaim your life. Call us to speak with one of our treatment specialists. Our counselors know what you are going through and will answer any of your questions. That's it for today. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like, share and comment. We would love your feedback. Have a great day.